Ja. Is my audio clear for you? Is my audio clear for you? Yes. So there is someone raising their hand. You are not having the permission to raise a hand, guys. You can just text your issues, whatever it may be. Can I get more responses? Hello, people. Can I get more responses? Can I get more active students in the class, please? Yes, can I get more active responses in the class, please? Very good evening. Yes, yes. Till where we have discussed? Can anyone say till where we have discussed? Abstraction and encapsulation. Okay. Okay. So what are the next topics we need to discuss? The next topics are type casting and object object casting. Okay. Type casting and object casting and then after that we will be discussing about the string class okay see in java string string is not only a data type it also it is also a class okay in java string is not only a data type it is also a class okay where we can perform different types of operations in strings using strings okay where we can perform different types of operations using strings so let's just see what is typecasting So type casting mean converting a value. of one data type to another data type okay noting a value of one data type to another data type is called type casting okay this is called type casting which means you can change the value of a data type to another data type okay so can we see once see here there is an order for our variables right so there is an order for our data types right 
what for our variables there is all of our data types right what is the shortest from the shortest one to the longest one okay let's see what is the shortest data type tell me what is the shortest data type char is it no it's not char what is the shortest data type int no short int i'm asking in java Yes, someone said byte. Byte short. So what are all the data types in Java? Tell me. What are all the data types you are using in Java? Tell me guys what are all the data types you are using in Java? okay let me do it myself okay the shortest data type is okay the shortest data type in java is boolean okay how much memory does it occupy boolean occupies only a single bit okay boolean occupies only a single bit of memory okay so don't get confused to all okay okay so here the order of our data types will be first one is boolean next one is byte short okay char int long float and 
double okay this is our order of our data types okay how much memory do each data type occupies let's just see how much memory does each data type occupies okay boolean occupies single bit of data okay boolean occupies single bit of data okay and then it is let's see a byte right byte occupies one byte of data which is 8 bits okay byte occupies one byte of data which is 8 bits okay one bit mean either 0 or 1 okay one bit mean either 0 or 1 okay is it clear so 8 bit means we can store 8 zeros or 8 ones or 8 combinations of zeros and ones okay the combination of zeros and ones okay in 8 boxes okay Next, the next thing is short, right? Short occupies two bytes of data. It is sixteen bits. Okay. After short, the next thing is character. Char, okay also occupies two bytes of data okay that also occupies two bytes of data after care we are having integer right so int int occupies four bytes of data okay which is Thirty two bits of data, okay. Okay. After int we got long, okay. Is it long? Sorry for the order. So it float and then it goes for long, okay. Okay. So float occupies four bytes of data, okay, which is thirty two bits, okay. Then we have long, long occupies eight bytes of data, so which is sixty four bits of data, okay. and then we got to double okay double also occupies eight bytes of data which is 64 bits okay okay so this is a memory that our each and every data type occupies okay so 
in type casting in type casting we have two types okay see there are two types of two types of type casting okay the first one is widening type casting okay and the second one is narrow type casting okay okay here what are they mean means So the widening type casting means converting a lower data type to upper data type is called widening type casting. Okay, converting a lower data type to upper data type is called widening type casting okay here we convert the lower data types bytes to say short or short or something else okay from short to int short to int or int to long okay like this this is called widening type casting okay and the next thing is narrowing type casting okay so i can you can say what is narrowing type casting it is basic idea of widening type casting try to say what is narrowing type casting I need responses guys. Yes, that was good. Converting a upper data type to lower data type is called narrowing data type casting. Okay.
is conversion of lower data type to sorry upper data type to lower data type is called narrowing type caching like converting a long to int or converting a see here converting a int to short and converting a short to byte okay okay this is called narrowing type casting so in narrowing type casting we will be losing our data okay okay why because why because why because can anyone say why we will be losing our data yes due to data compression okay as our data types have larger memory to store the values okay when we try to try to compress them the data cannot be fitted into smaller data types okay so so here what happens is the data which is left out of our memory will not be stored okay the data which is left out of our memory will not be stored okay so here what we need to do we need to type caching see we can do automatic type caching and we can also do manual type caching okay here automatic type casting means our jvm automatically converts a, a single type to another type like if i say int x is equals to 5 okay and then after this if i say float y is equals to x okay float y is equals to x it will automatically convert the type of x okay okay so this is called automatic type casting okay the x is stored as 0.0 okay and we can also manually convert data types okay for manual this is called automatic conversion
okay this is called automatic conversion when it comes to manual conversion so if i want to store the value of x manually i will say if i take int x is equals to 9 and if i want to convert it to long i will say long y is equals to open brackets and say long of x okay this is called manual type casting okay this is called manual type casting okay do you understood do you understand that yes yes i need responses yes we will be doing it in the eclipse if you have understood this the basic concept only two to three responses what happened to other guys what happened to other people are in the listening We will be creating a project. So tell me, I have a doubt. How should I create a Java project? How should I create a Java project? If you have a practice here, you may know. I was telling this every day. How should I create Java project? Yes, tell me, guys, how should I create Java project? Yes, only two people know it. That's it. Only two of them know it.
what happened to other people what happened to other people after creating a java project what we need to do what we need to do i'm not going to do it until unless you say it to me Yes, I want answers. What is the first thing we need to do while create project, create class? No, it is wrong. Yeah, that was a good attempt. Even you, at least you tried to answer the. right click new class now
this someone said click on our package create and then new then a class so where is this package where is this package have we created it have we created our package Have we created our package? Have we created our project Just tell me guys what we need to do after creating a project the first thing we need to do after creating a project what is the first thing yes we need to create a package after creating our project the first thing we need to do is creating a package click on our source right click new right click new and package okay is this the thing is this the thing i am repeatedly saying to you every day yes or no This is the thing I am repeatedly saying for you every day. I know that you will get for you will forget it. And I, I repeated it daily, but you at last you made the thing that I have expected. The first thing we need to do after creating our project is we need to create our packages. Okay, how should we name our packages? How should we name our packages? Yes, in the reverse order of our domain name, right? In the reverse order of our domain name in dot ac dot mrit dot casting okay this is our package so in this package we will be creating our classes say new class okay And we can choose the main method directly. Okay. Now let's just jump. See if I store int x is equals to 65. Okay. And I'll say float y is equals to x. And I will now try to print the thing which is
if i run this one see here i got my output okay so my integer is converted to a float okay my integer got converted to float okay Okay, in the similar way, let's see what happens if I type cache it to short. Let's say not for the float, just go for an integer. What is it saying? Short of X. See, the automatic conversion doesn't support down casting okay like narrow casting narrowing type casting is not so automatic type casting doesn't support narrowing type casting okay we need to do it explicitly okay we can also call automatic type casting as implicit type type casting and manual type casting as expl explicit type casting okay see here are the values okay so our x is converted to short okay so this is type casting okay is it clear Yes. So the next thing is okay. The next thing is object casting. Okay. Object type casting means. We will be taking the objects of a class and we will typecast those objects to the particular class. Okay. We will typecast those objects to the particular class. Say if I have as a class called animal. Okay. I can create an object of this animal saying animal cat is equals to oh just go for animal in the brackets and say billy okay this way i can i can also typecast objects okay Instead of saying instead of creating these things like uh, animal cat is equals to new animal like these things we can directly cache them okay we can directly cache them okay these both do the same thing okay so this is called object type casting let's see with an example okay Okay, 
So here I have a class. Okay. Class animal. So here I have some methods. Word, uh, say, run. Okay. Okay. Word run. In this, so I have another class called class cat. Okay. Which is sorry, which extends animal okay in this also i will be having some methods void meow okay so for the creation of objects i will say animal is equals to animal Cat, okay. Save animal, okay. Okay, one more to initialize this variable. Saying it, yeah. Okay, we can typecast animals like this. Okay, we can typecast objects like this. Okay, this is called object typecasting. Okay, this is called object type casting okay and then we'll be moving towards We'll be moving towards our string class, okay? Our string class, okay? So, some he want tell me what is a string? What is a string? Okay. You want tell me what is a string? It's enclosed in single quotes. Oh. Single quotes are not allowed in Java. Remember one thing. Single quotes are not allowed in Java. You cannot use single quotes. Just say. Let me show you. Let me just create. Let me just create a class saying string and main CEO. Okay, say string and equals to single quotes. It doesn't allow okay invalid characters so 
so what is stored in single quotes characters are stored in single quotes okay in java characters are stored in single quotes okay remember this thing so string is a sequence of characters okay string is a sequence of characters okay the objects which are created using strings or immutable okay the objects which are created using string is immutable we cannot change those objects okay we are not allowed we are not allowed to change those objects say let me just make it clear for you so say if i have two strings okay one string is str or uh, string s1 is equals to say boxing okay this is a string okay and there is another string which i say s2 is equals to s1 okay what happens here is what happens in java's memory is so this is a java's memory right consider this as java's memory okay okay so if i say string s1 is equals to boxing okay if i say string s1 is equals to boxing okay what happens is this s1 is stored in this memory okay in the first space of the memory okay this s1 is stored in the first space of the memory and if i say if i say string s2 is equals to s1 what do you think it happens what do you think it happens if you have some basic idea about c you can i think you can estimate it what do you think it happens just tell me guys what do you think it happens Yes, yes, I need responses.
yes if it is c if it is in c language what happens is this s2 should point to this memory okay this s2 should point to this memory space but in java it doesn't happen like this okay there is another memory created for s2 with s1 okay there is another memory created for s2 with s1 okay so we will be storing the same variable two times why because the values of a string are immutable once a memory is occupied by a single string it cannot be changed okay it cannot be changed okay is it clear okay and then there are there are two ways to create strings there are two ways to create strings what is the first way what is the first way of creating strings tell me till now how we created strings say we'll be saying string s1 is equals to Logging, okay like this right so as i said string is not just only a data type it is also a class so we can create objects for our classes right we can create objects for our classes right and we can pass constructor values right yes or no we can pass constructor values right so the second way is a string s1 is equals to new string and say pass the values like this okay we can also create strings like this okay Let's see. Let's just move to our code. Let's just create string. This one is equal to new string and say logging. Sorry, we have created the both as strings, right? So then we'll be changing it to say what we can name it as as str class let's just see what happens oh 
okay let's just see okay this is how we can create objects for our string class okay previously what i have what i have did is i named both the classes as string so our java gets confused okay Okay, let's just see over our, our string, we can open declaration, right? So if I hover over the string and open declaration, I can see some methods in string. What are those? Let's just move towards our methods. See, the first one is our string method, okay? And second one is a string method with a parameter. So these are the constructors guys. Okay. And our string method with the characters. Okay. Our string method, a string constructor with a string. Okay. String constructor with characters. Read this one. Allocates a new string that contains characters as a sub array of the characters array argument okay you can check the string methods here Let's see there are methods for strings string Let's leave this. I'll show it for you. If I say this one dot, see, these are all the string methods we say. These are all the string methods. Okay. These are all the methods inside a string. See, guys, how many methods are there? See, from char at char at means we can index our strings. Okay. From there to we can convert our strings to uppercase. We can convert our strings to lowercase. We can con compare our string to another another string we can concatenation we can do concatenation with other strings okay we can check the sequence of characters we can check whether our string one is equal to another string or not okay we can get bytes we can get characters we can get the hash code of our string we can get the index of our characters inside a string we can get the index of a string and there are lot more methods we can check our string is empty or not which returns a boolean we can check our lost index of our string okay we can check the length of the string okay we can replace our characters using string buffers and string builders okay See, let's just convert this one to uppercase. And now I'll store this one in other variable string s2 is equals to s1 dot to uppercase. And I say sys o s2 and I'll print it. See, my string got converted to uppercase. Okay, and then I and I can also say here directly. I should ought to lowercase. It helps me. It helps me in converting it to lowercase. Okay. 
okay and then we can also say string s2 is equals to s1 dot you see the methods what are all we are having two lower case two string two trim see this one you can say trim by space okay I think we can do it yep so if I provide some spaces here before and after the string after the string what happens if I use trim method if I use trim method and I will say sys o s2 and I will print this one what happens is it will remove those extra spaces okay trim method helps me to remove those extra spaces one say and I'll run this one. See here, got two extra spaces. After using the trim method, those extra spaces got removed. Okay. Okay. And see here. If I have a string, I have another string, say string s2 is equals to new string of these good for health. Okay. And I can use a concatenation method saying string s3 is equals to s1 dot concat s2. Okay. And if I say s is o, s3, and print this one, see my string got concatenated, which means my string got added. Okay. Okay, is it clear? Is it clear up to now? Is it clear guys up to now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that was good. Yes. I am getting a very less responses. Out of how many of you are there? out of see in the whatsapp group i have got participants out of 512 right so the number of participants in the whatsapp are 512 members so if we remove your uh, search and uh, group admins and others approximately you will be nearly up to 500 members right so these 500 members are not getting joined into the class. Only I am getting the attendance of up to 200 members or 180 to 250 members. Not up to the half of the participants. Right? So what we will be doing? Guys. And these half participants are also not responding properly. These half participants are also not responding properly. Only two to three 
or four to five members are responding and other people are responding only when I have asked them. I need to beg you, right? For teaching you, I need to beg you guys. Right? This is not the good behavior from your side. This is not the good behavior from your side, guys. Everything will be noticed. I will be noting the rule numbers who are responding to me only. Okay. We'll see what, what happens next. So, bye guys. This is a class for the day.